So, I've got my bike in near stock condition now. I say near stock because I uh, still have the spring, front sprocket, and and the handguards. But, I mean, handguards ain't doing much. So, yeah, bar risers are off. We have the stock exhaust, stock ECU, stock seat. We are going to see just how bad this actually was before I changed it. Because I changed it pretty quick after I got it. And I think it's a good opportunity. I well, better not mount it yet. It's a good opportunity to uh, compare. Because when I did my review, I had it all decked out like I wanted. And now it's back to where we started, pretty much. And see if my memory served me well enough. And, uh... I mean, when I started it up the first time, this might be warmed up enough. Let's see if she starts. All right. Like I said, I already warmed it up. I had to use the electronic choke. But, uh, yeah, you can tell. Quite a difference in sound. Oh, and that, that thing is going to get hot. I'll tell you what. Oh man, oh, that is a hard seat. <laughs> it is exactly how I remember that. Oh, that is not nice. The bike is more broken in. But yeah, I can tell the throttle's a little a little worse. I mean, there's oh yeah, there's still a throttle tamer on there, so it's trying to mitigate it a little bit, but I don't know how well it's gonna do. Yeah, it seems a little touchy to me. Put her in second. See how well we can lug this thing or get going. That's not so bad. Second definitely smoothed it out. The throttle response on the, well, there's a bit of a lunge. So yeah, it's kind of hard to say what I'm feeling right now. It's on the road. Those are pretty smooth shifts. Let's see how well it does here. You hear that backfiring a little bit, maybe. Yeah, honestly, those shifts are a lot smoother than I remember. Maybe I got better, but, oh yeah, I mean, this seat is just horrible. I've only been riding for how, like five minutes? Damn, that is atrocious. You can almost hear the tires Better that I can hear the exhaust. So I suppose it's so far not bad. Maybe the smoothness I can attribute to the throttle tamer and getting used to that. Low speed was not very fun. Now the bar risers aren't too missed, but if I'm gonna stand up. Yeah, that's when I miss them. Even standing with the bar risers, I had to uh, crouch a little bit.
I was hoping to see a flame out with this thing. Does that mean? I guess it, it wasn't like wholly consistent. Like I wouldn't have a flame out every single ride, but most rides. So I'm gonna cut this one short though. This ride, it doesn't need to be as long as the first one. Yeah, I have not had a whole lot to say, so I'm pretty surprised. It's like maybe some of the hiccups work themselves out as you uh, you break it in. I mean, I did notice it was getting better the more I rode it, or it seemed to, and I didn't know if that was me getting used to it or if just things were settling down in the, the engine. It got to that nice point where it's just broke in. Yeah, maybe try some uh, low and slow stuff. Oh yeah, this is the first gear I remember. Ugh, I'm not being very smooth. Yeah, first is really touchy. I don't know, I have hyper smooth on, so you probably can't tell so well how this lunges back and forth. So first gear is still kind of unusable. But my ass is getting sore, so time to head back. Maybe that's by design. Either you run out of fuel or you get sick of riding, whichever comes first. So I guess I should come up with some kind of conclusion about this. I mean, I suppose you could live with the, uh, the stock ECU and pipe. If you don't mind being quiet or some of the potential issues. I haven't had a flame out yet, but uh, also if you don't plan on low and slow riding, I guess it's fine. Once you get out of first and second, you're all right. Still a little herky-jerky. But uh, yeah, it just leaves me wanting more. When I first got it, I was like, I paid 10 grand for this? That is why we were trading her in. So I guess I was maybe a little harsh on it, but that was then and this is now. I'm allowed to change my opinion. And I don't know if it's that changed. It, it softened a bit, but I don't know. I, I'm gonna be glad to be rid of it, especially with what I'm, I'm moving on to. So we'll do one last test out in the back. Ugh, I'm in second now and it's still a little bleh. So the thing about this bike, even with the all the stuff I did to it, I made it a little better for low and slow, but um, this bike is meant and geared to go fast. It's better when you're up to speed. I mean, in stock trim, it's, it's just okay, but with all the add-ons I did, it's way better. Let's see, are we in first? All right. I'm leaning the wrong way. If you couldn't tell, I'm not very good off-road. Oh, there she went. But I can do that no matter what bike I'm on. Not much of a test. The tires do a lot because on the stock tires, it was tough getting up that hill. And I make it tough enough with my inexperience. So that is that. Back together, no gas leaks, fan kicks on, 
Near stock. Oh, I'm glad to be off that seat. Time for her to go. I don't think I'm going to miss it too much. We'll see. Because it's almost like whenever you finally buy something, like you can see reviews, you can look at it, ogle it, do whatever, but until you actually buy it and have to deal with it yourself, it can be a whole different thing. So nothing beats experience. And always take your reviews with a grain of salt. See, I didn't think these issues, when I read reviews, I didn't think the issues they mentioned, if they mentioned them at all, I didn't think they'd be that big a deal. But as soon as I got it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's hard to live with. So, yeah, as it sits now, I wouldn't want to live with this. I mean, you have to do something about the seat, at least. And, I mean, if, if you're a glutton for punishment, you can stick with the stock ECU and exhaust. But other than that, I don't know. There's definitely other choices, better choices out there, I'd say. And that's where I'm at. So, farewell, old friend. You're kind of a pain in the ass, but I still like you a little bit. You were my pain in the ass. Thank you.